to start out we need to get pebbles and that's done by sneaking and right clicking on the ground with an empty hand look at this we got all of these pebbles so let me quickly gather some pebbles and we will be right back with you so there we go we have the pebbles and next step is to craft cobblestone from these and this can be done by putting all the pebbles in a 4x4 and look at this we now have the stack of cobblestone a bit more even so with that we resolve the gas and get a furnace next thing is to get wood let's place the furnace um, maybe here for the moment wood do we get by throwing out our cobble and waiting for 30 seconds so let's wait for this to happen shortly and there we go we have a bunch of different wood types now perfect so let's complete the quest and now we need to do the tinkers tools stuff get us a bunch of patterns and now we place this together with a pattern in there to get this crafting station let's put that here and get us more wood because we need oh nope that's wrong we need to have a like so here's the crafting with the tinker station sorry and here we go with the park builders so put that here and the pins in this here perfect and we put that in here so now let's have a look at the quest book so that's this getting the book for tinkers getting a handle perfect and getting a small stone axe head perfect for that so now we need to do the pickaxe head and the binding so let's do this tool binding and the head perfect and we will craft ourselves a pickaxe. Wonderful! Let's look into the quests. Oh, we have this one and we have this one and we will get a diamond for it. Perfect. And this diamond, as suggested in the quest, we will use to upgrade our pickaxe. So now let's look into here. Do we have anything left? No, not yet. We have this one, but for that we need first rotten flesh. And I will do that later on. So first of all, let's get basic resources. So how does that work? What we can do now, we can just mine into the wall, like a soap. And as you can see, we will not only drop cobblestone, but a lot of other stuff as well, including ores. Let's do that for a while and then you can see already there's coal and now it's getting a bit dark so let's see we got coal, got bauxite, got copper and so on. You will get all your ores by just mining cobblestone and I think I will do a bit of mining and see you in a minute. Okay I did some mining, let's have a look. We got some ore and therefore we get that's perfect. I already made a chest, let's do this. Then we got coal, so for that we get tiny coal, that's just the hint that you can get tiny coal out of your coal, which is pretty good, because you don't have to be uh, precise with what you want to smelt. So the next thing I want to do is create a deck, um, because I've already problems with my inventory, um, there's a lot of stuff in there already, so yeah, let's do this. Well, let's make two of those that's better let's just make two from, from the beginning and then put the barrel in here oh is that the tiny coal no that's not working where's my big oh there it is so tank one and another tank one so now we set this pick up and would put into this all the stone types and it it is not enough i have stone left but that's okay and we put in the other one all the ores as much as we can like so 
So now I will go on mining. Oh no, let's first get the quest because the yeah, the quest. What? Didn't we get is it gone into here? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was to the line. Where's my magnet? Okay, here's the magnet. We switch it on and now everything's just jumping into our inventory and is picked up by one of the two tanks. Okay, so then I will go on mining for some time and see you in a minute. I have now enough redstone to upgrade our two tanks. Perfect. And then we can put in there everything else. Uh, that's the ores. Oh, look at that. We already found five diamond ores and we don't need the leathers in there. Put that out. Um, let's put that unfiltered so that it only picks up what I have in there. Okay, perfect. So it seems to fit everything in there and that's all the stone types done. I will do some more mining and then I see you right back. I have now hollowed out this cave here so that we have a lot of room for all the stuff we need to place. So let's have a look into our quest book. I want to do the next this quest bloody hell where we have to create a blood altar. So let me quickly gather the ingredients for that. So let's make this thing. I think it was something like this and uh, this yeah there is the blood altar and we will place that here as close to our spawner as possible because we need those mobs to be killed near the altar let's fetch all that stuff here now that we have this dagger of sacrifice gotten from the quest we will activate the spawner so now if I'm standing close to the altar and kill mobs right next to the altar, it will be a one-hit kill. Look at this with this dagger. If those mobs are farther away, then this doesn't work. I need to stand here. So now I need some blood and I'm not quite sure how much blood we need to put in. That's not enough. Okay. Let's get this. We need... What was there? We need 2,000. So maybe while we are waiting for the mobs to spawn, let's work on the other quests on the other side. We need andesite alloy and for that we need zinc, nuggets and andesite. So let's look what we have in our tanks. We have andesite cobblestone, so we smelt up that. And we have zinc. Not a lot of zinc, but let's do that. Okay, so this is smelting now, and now we have a ton, ton of mobs over here. For the moment we can do this, and I will show you that. What happens if you put that on the... Oh, nope. Yeah, that happens if we have the magnet on, so shut the magnet off, and then throw away the zombie flesh. And then we'll just wait for a moment. Yeah, look at this. So that's a ton of mob drops here. So how much do we have now in there? Let's test if that's not working. And come on, come on. Yeah, that's enough now. We have enough blood in there. A blood orb is that. Okay. So that's how that's called. Okay, let's see. We get this, the sugar and the clock from that. So now, if we hit the spawner with the sugar because that is from apotheosis uh, come on let me hit that and the monster spawner gets modified and gets faster and spawns more mobs so, which helps us with progressing here getting more of the blood we need come on come on over oh oh i need to put on my magnets uh, Get me the stuff from the zombies. Great. Next thing we need is the alchemy table, which is a blank slate, which is granite or stone. Yeah, let's that. Let's do this. That's one thousand levels, but we can get some healing stuff so that we can get more. Come on. Oh, come on! You have to stand close to that. Now. 
Okay, there's this blank slate. Perfect. Let's do another one. And what was in the middle? An iron. There it is. Good. That's the alchemy table. Let's place that here for the moment and now we can put in this one. Oh, no, let's see. I need to fill that up. Oh, I forgot to do something. I know. Get me back that or I need to sneak right click it, which hurts me. So that it is bound to me. Current owner, Raven Craftsy. So now we can put that in. Now it's filling up my network. Oh, the zinc is ready. So well, let's transform that into nuggets and get a lot of andesite to make a bunch of this. Now is the orb full, so we have 5000 LP in there. And then make a turntable on top of it. Wonderful. And then we need to combine that with a stone. Like so. Great. So now we have that. And now we need the frames. How are the frames? So now we get the wrench, which will be helpful. Okay. Do it like so. Put it like a so. Good. Now, the dirt. Let's see, we have some granite. Let's put that in here. So that's working very fast. Let's throw dirt on the ground and wait 15 seconds to get a random plant. Great. We will do that. Oh, here's the stuff. Let's put that on again. Now let's eat the berries. What do we get there? Oh, fast eating charm. Do we get for well, so put that class in the charm? Where's the charm slot in here? I think I have everything for that. So let's put this in here. That will give us the ash. There's the arcane ashes, and probably is used up some of them. What in here? True. Yeah. Look at this. Needs to be filling again. Okay. So that is the ashes, and that will get us the divination sigil. If I right click on the blood altar, I see the content of the blood altar and its capacity. And if I right click somewhere else, I see how much essence is in my blood orb. Wonderful. That should be a quest too. Yes, it is. Yeah, there's big cogs there. Wonderful. We can make us a gearbox. Wonderful. That's done this and we get a gear shift for that. That's nice. Okay. Next thing is we need the mechanic crafter. Normally this is a recipe pretty pretty um, tough. So but for now we only need a lot of wood. That's 21 of these crafters. Look at this. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the barrel. So now everything's pointing downwards. These are pointing up and these are pointing over there. Maybe we do like so and put the barrel in here. So now we need to have some energy in that system. So if we right click that thing, that thing should start. <gasps> yes, and it's working. Is that moving? Yes, it is. Okay, it's working. It's very slow, but that's okay for us. We don't need more. Yes, 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 yes. That's wonderful. Let's look at this. For that, we get a shoot. Where do we place that for the moment? Put this here. Put the, the, above. Put the crank here. Perfect. Oh, let's look into here. Get iron from that. Get andesite casing from that. That's perfect. So now we need the mixer. Put this in here. And now crank one. Good. That looks awesome. Do we get this? Yes. And uh, enough for that too. Great. That's more cogwheels for us. Now put that like right next to this. Uh, no, not as a filter, please. Above. 
I need to make it like fast enough. Put those in there. Oh. Is that fast enough? Yeah, that is. Nope. It seems like as if that's working. Oh, and we have two. Ca oh, we only need four cactus. Okay. Now we can make us an infinite water source that we can carry around. So let's put the circle down. Then we use that. Okay. And then we use the blank slate. And then it's woo, doing a thing. That's blood magic. Uh huh. There we go. And now I can place water with that, which is awesome. And I do have more of this ash here. So now that we have water, we can improve our mob spawner and our setup with our blood altar here. I will put this stuff away to have some free space for the mob farm. Put that over here. And then I will start whipping that up and be right back. Here I am, back with the spawner room. And we are ready to place in the water and remove the torches. So place water there. That should work. Yes, it does. And now get rid of the torches. Perfect. Let's already switch that on. So now that should be working. Well then, need to bring this down. I'm not quite sure whether I can do that. With Yes, I can do that with the leather. That's perfect. So put this here. Well, I think I don't like that with the dropping ceiling. Okay, I'm back now. I have put down oak slabs on the ceiling because I didn't like uh, the water dropping down there. And uh, well, I, I think I think it feels quite good now. Can easily kill the stuff which is coming down from above, and our altar will fill up and if we need to fill up our network we can just put it there and it will fill up so that's the tier one of the blood altar done i need to gather now more resources and if you want to see more of cavecraft let me know in the comments and leave a like and i will surely go on with this mod pack because it's a lot of fun to play it thanks for watching